Station, this is Dr. Aaron Smith with Denby High School and Aviation Academy. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you loud and clear, Denby High School. Welcome, thanks for joining us today. Are there any particular emergencies you're always preparing for? Yeah, so I've, I've got a few backflips. Uh, I haven't really counted it, so I'm not quite sure. Um, and then, you know, other tricks, it's, it's kind of neat because uh, you're floating all the time. So just going from one module to another, you end up trying it in a different way, a different orientation. We have uh, school teachers. We have uh, astronauts from many, many different areas. Uh, in my particular case, I have to clean up. I tend to work out first thing in the morning. Uh, then we have breakfast. Why do you want to study space and the Earth? Why did I want to study space in the Earth? Well, uh, I tell you, when I was uh, in grade school, in sixth, seventh grade, I really started to enjoy science. I really started to enjoy my teacher talking about space. Breakfast, and, and then we get into our work day. And our work day. James City County Public Schools. And I'm so grateful to each of you who took time from your busy schedules to join us. We had nine planets. Then it went to eight because Pluto got a great opportunity for you. Um, and so thank you for inviting minor planets. And that's what they did. If it were up to me, they wouldn't have. We'll be able to aim the antenna, and that antenna will slew right toward the ISS. And that antenna has two motors. It's got a motor that. I copy the two by two, copy two by two. Hi, my name is Brenner Beard. What is the most exciting experiment you have conducted or discovery you have made so far? Over. Hey, Brenner, that's a great question. Today we were talking to the astronauts, I don't know if you'll get to ask them questions. Things that are only carrying um, packages will be will be done by a UAV. Oh my gosh, <laughs>